so I think I've screwed up a bit here. Lunatic is a channel dedicated to all things Moon related, and a week from now is a significant anniversary for one of mankind's greatest endeavours that also happens to include the Moon. I'm talking of course about the Apollo 11 mission, where humans first walked on the surface of the Moon. While I have an ongoing series dedicated to the space race, one that will end with the lunar landing, the current episodes of To The Moon are taking place around the events of 1957, and sadly there's not enough time to cover 12 years worth of episodes in just a week. As the moon landings are a popular topic, there's a lot of content already out there, content that's much better than anything I can create in the time frame I have. Therefore, I want to present to you Lunatic's Best of the Moon Landings, a collection of media ranging from books to podcasts that all talk about the moon landings. Now, just a heads up, I'm not being sponsored by anyone for this video, they're all personal recommendations, and I've included links in the description for where you can find all of them. So, if you want to learn more about the Apollo 11 mission, and when humans first walked on the moon, here's a few things you should check out. Podcasts. The BBC has commissioned a podcast called 13 Minutes to the Moon. Great title, I wonder where they got it from. 13 Minutes is a 12 part series with one episode released every week, where the final episode will be recorded live at Houston's Rice University, the very venue where John F. Kennedy stood in 1962 delivering his speech that announced the USA was taking humanity to the moon. Hosted by Dr. Kevin Fong, who holds degrees in astrophysics, medicine, and space engineering, Dr. Fong interviews the scientists, engineers, programmers, and astronauts who all worked on the Apollo missions, recollecting with them the successes and hardships of the space race. This slick, well-produced podcast is certainly one of the most engaging out there, and not just in terms of the subject matter, but as a podcast in general. Dr. Fong has a wonderful narration flair, and each episode really captures the urgency of what everyone was trying to achieve. Oh, and the theme music for the podcast was written by Hans Zimmer. That's pretty cool. If you like podcasts, chances are you like audiobooks too, and there's plenty on the topic of the moon landings. So let's talk about audiobooks and books in general. My top recommendation would be The Race by James Schefter. The race covers the whole of a space race, paying attention to both sides of the Atlantic, giving equal coverage to both the USA and the USSR. It's a very easy book to read, and one that gives you just the right amount of detail without going overboard. However, you may want to hear about the lunar landings from the men who actually took part. Buzz Aldrin has many books that talk about the moon landings, as well as other space endeavours, the best of which being Magnificent Desolation, the long journey home from the moon. However, while the book does cover the moon landings, a great deal is dedicated to Aldrin's post-NASA life. Don't get me wrong though, it's still a solid read. If I had to pick just one book though, it would be Carrying the Fire by Michael Collins, who is such a gifted storyteller and strikes the ideal balance between technical detail and jovial anecdotes. Even though it was Neil Armstrong who first walked on the moon, it was Collins who went further than any man has ever gone before, venturing to the far side of the moon where radio contact back to Earth was impossible. His memoirs of this event are nothing short of mesmerising. As for Neil Armstrong, he doesn't have an autobiography. This is quite typical for him really, as he was a very reserved person and never one to highlight his monumental achievement. However, there are several biographies about him though, the best of which being First Man by James Hansen. If that title seems familiar to you, it should, because the book was the basis for the film of the same name. First Man, starring Ryan Gosling as Armstrong, is perhaps the best retelling of the Apollo missions. Stripped of all the pomp and flair you'd normally find in a film talking about an American achievement, First Man is a very grounded, almost matter-of-fact portrayal of the mission to the moon. There's no swell of violins as they touch down, no choppy editing, just pure drama, and it's so tense because of that. It walks the line with ease between technical detail and human drama, but just a heads up, there is some creative license to make the story flow a little better. If this creative license is something that will bother you, perhaps a non-fiction approach is best for you. Therefore, let's talk about some documentaries. Out right now is a documentary called Apollo 11. Now this film features only restored archival footage of the mission, there's no narration and no interviews, which can make it a tad jarring if you're used to these comforts in a conventional documentary. In which case, you may want to check out something called In the Shadow of the Moon, presented by Ron Howard, who directed Apollo 13. This documentary features interviews with almost all of the astronauts who walked on the lunar surface. This film also features restored archival footage, but it's the first-hand testimonies of Alan Bean and Michael Collins that really make it worth watching. However, as some of these documentaries may not be available on your chosen streaming platform, I'd like to highlight some solid YouTube channels and videos to check out. SciShow Space has some wonderful pop sci style videos about the Apollo missions. I've included the links to my favourite in the description below. 
Vox has a solid and very accessible annotated video about Apollo 11's journey from Earth to the Moon. NASA has uploaded a massive three hours of the Apollo moonwalk in stunning 1080 clarity. And if that's not enough for you, there's a channel called the Apollo 11 Flight Journal, which has a ton of rare archival footage of the mission, mostly from ground control. The Dan Bowman Space Museum has a ton of restored footage of not just the Apollo missions, but of the Soviet missions as well. Well, now it's time for a bit of shameless self-promotion. Our To The Moon series is an episodic approach to the space race, with each chapter covering a different milestone of the saga, the latest episode featuring Sputnik 2 and Laika. However, if you feel there's something else out there that covers the moon landings perfectly, and I haven't mentioned it, please leave a comment below with what you'd like to share. Thanks for watching.